Hi guys, it's Liam here, and today I want to talk about how Australia became a nation. Uh, so once it was colonised by the British, it was basically just a bunch of different colonies in a bunch of different areas that no one really cared about. Um, but then, um, thanks. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to mention something else first, J just to get have you, just to give you an insight to what it was like. In order to actually move, like you could actually get checked. Uh, you know, ask for your passport. Your passport, just when you're you're moving from, say, uh, Central Australia to WA, like, and you, there's actually you'd have to switch trains in order to get there if you were going by train because they actually had different rail sizes, so that they were very different at that time. Uh, so um, then, uh, by a person uh, called. Sir Henry Parks made a speech uh, uh, about federation uh, and how that would help us. Now, a lot of people started agreeing with him. It was like, yeah, let's become a nation. Uh, and then uh, they had a big conference uh, uh, talking about that. Even even New Zealand was actually entered in the conference, so saying, you know, maybe you could join Australia. Um, uh, also, Sir Henry Parks uh, afterwards was dubbed the father of the Federation since he was really the one who got the ball rolling. Uh, and then, you know, they started arguing over, um, you know, sharing the wealth and how much say they would have in wars and things. And So eventually then they made a constitution and they, they had a referendum. Uh, you know, they asked everyone in the states, like, you know, do you want to become part of the Australia? Uh, and every state apart from uh, Western Australia said yes. Um, so that, that was in 1990. Uh, that, that was in uh, 1990, I think. Oh, no, that was in uh, 19, uh, just 19, I think. Uh, and then a year later, eventually, WA was like, okay, I'll join, I'll join Australia. So then uh, in, in 1901, uh, uh, Australia actually technically became a nation since all of the states actually decided to join. Uh, so they were a continent that was now considered a nation. Uh, but uh, also... Uh, there was a few things in, in the Constitution that were not, not, not all benefited from it, such as, you know, people you know, like uh, Aboriginals and Torres Strait Islanders were excluded from the Constitution, so they didn't really have any proper rights. Uh, and then uh, basically we started getting... Uh, our first Prime Minister was uh, Sir Edmund Barton, uh, was the first Prime Minister of the now nation Australia. Uh, and... Uh, Basically, and then Lord Hopeton was the first Governor General, uh, and uh, in the 9th of May, 1901, officially uh, started the first Federal Parliament, uh, which was, you know, in the Constitution broken up from Federal uh, to State and to Local Government. Uh, they both had their, their own say. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's how Australia became a nation. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.